Thank you for your time today. I am currently a math teacher at Sky Ridge High School in Lehigh. I hold a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering and practiced law for many years before teaching math, which I love. Far too many high school freshmen and sophomores are entering my classes without the necessary fundamental skills to succeed in high school math classes. They lack the basic skills with multiplication and division, as well as a working understanding of fractions and fraction operations. The basic algebraic equation manipulation skills they desperately need are deficient for close to half of my students. We as a math department spend a tremendous amount of time teaching what kids should already know coming in. I wish I had more time to show you examples of these issues. We are working hard to fill in the gaps and get these kids to meet standards. But, every moment we spend teaching remedial basic skills is time that is not spent teaching high school math. I recently met with math teachers from our feeder junior high who are struggling with similar deficiencies. They share our concerns with a lack of basic skills. As a father of six school-aged kids, the youngest being seven, I also have an insight into how math is being taught at the elementary and junior high levels. As a math educator and lifelong math-brained person, I understand why things are being taught the way they are in elementary. But I also strongly believed that such methods are ineffective. My kids are being taught how to solve certain types of problems in multiple ways with the goal of getting kids to understand why. However, many of the multiple ways are just simple tricks. Brain teasers that will not actually teach anything. People who comprehend math come to understand and develop these tricks on their own. However, this is a one-way street because they are just tricks. Seeing the trick cannot lead to deeper understanding without a solid grasp of basic skills. Instead, it is only through a solid grasp of the basic skills that lead to discovery and understanding of the tricks. I strongly encourage a focus on basic math skills. For example, kids should have multiplication math facts memorized. This is because that memorization helps greatly with fraction operations and basic algebraic manipulations. With those skills, algebra concepts can be grasped and learned. This is a critical point. Because a firm grasp of algebra makes all higher math accessible, conversely, a lack of basic algebra skills shuts the door on ever understanding any of the high school math essentials. Which brings me to my final point. The current course standards are far too broad and the adopted integrated approach means far too few curriculum resources. In nearly every district in the state, teachers have been forced to write their own curriculum. This might sound okay, but let me explain the ramifications of this. First, it is impossible to teach all standards. Since it's impossible to teach all standards, teachers pick which standards they will teach while abandoning others. Second, this means there will be a different scope and sequence, at least for every district, and often between schools in the same district. A kid moving schools with an Alpine district mid-year, for example, has very little hope of encountering math that matches what had been taught at the previous school. This problem is far worse for kids transferring from out of state. Third, if teachers must create their own curriculum by picking and choosing from the core, that curriculum will be out of sync in scope and sequence from any other class from a different school. Then there is very little value in even having a core. I'm Chad Copier. If you'd like more information, please feel free to contact me.